guest tonight is a very talented actress, very, very clever indeed. She stars in The Newsroom, which the second season premieres July the 14th on HBO, which is, uh, that's premium cable, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> if you've got premium cable, you're not watching this show. <laughs> Take a look at this. Four days in jail on Rockers Island. Today, he is free to go home to France. We'll be back after this. It's optimistic. <laughs> Emily Mortimer, everybody. It's so lovely to see you. I haven't seen you in a dog's age. I know. I, I went. The, the researcher said it hadn't been for some time, and I said it was before I left Los Angeles, which was about ten years ago. And she said, no, it was three years ago. So Yeah, no, we haven't been on the air ten years. Uh, right. We won't be on the air another ten days, I don't think, <laughs> after tonight. But, but she warned me, oh my God, it's there, the horse. Yes, it's all right. It's, it's perfectly friendly. <laughs> it's very disconcerting. No, no, no. No, he's fine. He, mean, he means well. Look. I feel he's like, bowing to you. Oh, God, I feel like he's going to charge at me. No, no. No, no. charging is extra. Um, <laughs> she warned me about the horse and the robot. Well, the robot's fine. It's Where is the absolutely robot? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> He's just doing that. Now, you're still English, I see. Uh, yes, I think so, yes. yeah. Yeah, we, we were just talking about Downton Abbey earlier on, and then Jeff and I were pretending to be English. Were we any good at it? You were brilliant. Uh, you're brilliant at everything you oh, do. Oh, stop it. <laughs> I don't know whether I saw it, but I know that you were brilliant. Well, you were I, right there. I was just worrying about what I was going to oh, say to you. Oh, don't worry, don't worry, it's all right. <laughs> I tell you, oh, oh, oh. Uh, no, no. <laughs> I won an award since you were here last. What did you win an award for? I don't know. <laughs> Your brilliant English accent. Yes, that's right, possibly. Do you do accents in other, uh, in other uh, shows and things? Uh, sometimes. Really? What yes. do you do? What's your favourite? I can do a Russian accent. Can you really? Yes. Can you speak Russian? Yes. Really? Yes. Go. <laughs> the accent, I can say, I, in a Russian accent, I can say, I had a boyfriend who was Russian and all he could say in English was hello my name is Tony Dakota I am an astronaut from Minnesota <laughs> and I fell madly in love yes. with him of course yeah. immediately yes um, but uh, what, what do you want me to say something well like, what about can you say, can say hello something very rude lots of very rude no things. you can't unfortunately because they're on to us with that we used to uh, <laughs> we used to say uh, naughty words in other languages and we snuck a few out and then they you know they brought in interpreters and Google and all sorts and, uh, <laughs> all right, I'll say something. but you speak Russian have you been to Russia yes I, live I there. love Russia where have you been to Moscow I've um, been there yes did you see Lenin in his tomb yes I did I saw Doesn't Lenin move much I well, they would be. <laughs> no, if it was if this was here, you know, they'd animatronic him a little bit so he'd wave a, or get up and go. Hey. Yeah, I, I thought someone said that someone said it was in the guidebook or something that someone had seen his ear fall off as they walked past. Yes, I don't believe that though, do you? I did. But I don't know. I mean, he, if you've been lying in a sort of mausoleum for fifty years, you would th think. Your ear might fall off. Well, I don't see... It. There, there's a big rumour, a conspiracy theory, that it's not him at all. Oh, really? Yes, it's played by an actor. An, a, livi <laughs> a living actor? Yes, an actor who comes in, oh he's like, God. morning, George, morning, Ted, and he comes in and he lies down and he's like... <laughs> and then when they close at the end of the day, he gets up and goes home. I wonder how much you get paid for that. Uh, it's a living. <laughs> you know. It'll do. Have you ever been to St. Petersburg? I have, very I beautiful. I love that. What a beautiful city. It's, it's like, stunning. It's like Paris, but, you know... Yes, or Amsterdam, or yes. all of those places. Yeah, no, it's great. Really, really very beautiful. I, I loved it there. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, let's I go. Just, I just remember it. <laughs> that was very, very nice indeed. What were you doing there? Were you acting? I was, um, I was studying, yes. I, I went, um, as part of my degree, I went to study Russian in Moscow. I studied Russian and English at university, and then I went for a year to Moscow. But by, by then, I already had decided I wanted to be an actress. And so I went to the Moscow Arts Theatre and studied um, acting there. And I fell madly in love before I met the Russian 
uh, guy that could only say, my name is Tony Dakota, I'm an astronaut from Minnesota. Yes. I, I fell madly in love with the guy that was teaching me acting, who um, didn't notice that I was madly in love with him. And I didn't notice he was incredibly boring because he was so <laughs> handsome. <laughs> I think that's happened to some women before you, actually. That yes. They thought someone was handsome and they, met, they thought that meant interesting as well. Yes, it, it happened for many months. I thought he was so wonderful because he was so good looking. But then he came to my house with a lot of other people from the school and we all got very, very drunk. And he took me out onto the balcony. Uh oh. And I thought, my God, this, my moment has come. Here we go, here we go, come. yeah, yeah. And he started sort of declaiming and looking at the moon and talking about the moon in a sort of romantic fashion. And I was standing behind him and I was so drunk. And I suddenly realized I needed to be sick, but I... You were pretty drunk. <laughs> but I didn't want to leave because I thought, I can't leave, this moment has come. And I, he's talking about the moon and there he is. And so I was very quietly sick into my hands. <laughs> and he kept going, but he was so delighted with himself that he didn't yeah. notice. Didn't notice the girl behind him was vomiting uh, uh, quietly into her. You, did you? <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I took it to the loo. Oh, you took it away with you? Oh, <laughs> excuse me. <laughs> That's lovely. What a lovely, enchanting, romantic story. I'm of, sorry, uh, I'm sorry. I've lowered No, the no, it's fine. Listen, the newsroom's great. Jeff Daniels is in it. He's very funny, isn't he? He's awesome. Yeah, yeah, no, he's very funny. I mean, he's not funny in the show, obviously, but he was funny in the show he as well. He was just funny on the clip. Yeah, yeah, he was funny there, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's not, I don't think, it, I mean, he's very... Um, Charismatic and yes. slightly um, bonkers. grumpy. Bit grumpy? Bonkers. Is he grumpy? No, on the show. Like, if you were sick into your hands near <laughs> Jeff Dan, he'd be like, what are you doing? <laughs> Uh, he'd be very forgiving, I'm sure. But Are you, I, is, there a, is there a phase in life that, that you go through where handsomeness is enough, but then you have to add to it? Like, uh, you know, you're attracted <laughs> to a handsome young actor, but then later on you think, well, I'm going to need more than just being able to talk to the moon. <laughs> yes, I think so. See, because I think for a lot of people, it's fine just to stay there, particularly the, the men who are talking to the moon. <laughs> they, 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 they never get happy. past it, they're like, <laughs> hello. <laughs> it's rather fun. <laughs> but you've got it all. You're handsome what? and funny and very interesting and very clever and extremely successful. <laughs> are, you, are you going to be sick or something? <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> we have to we have to take a break. We'll be right back with Emily Moore tomorrow. We'll be right back. when I said to Emily, oh, uh, we were just talking and then she said, I said, we're back. And she said a word that you're not allowed to say. <laughs> I could say it in Russian. No, I can't. I well, can't. you could say it in Russian and they would bleep it in American. But uh, I don't know what it is in Russian. So can you just go ahead and say it? Well, it's complicated. What's that coming to go? That's a whole phrase. What's that coming to go? But that's terrible. That's terrible. Does anybody know about that? No. Okay. There's going to be a lot of Ukrainian. No, there's people. not because they'll beep it anyway. Okay, just okay. because you know, okay. so the Ukrainian people are like, "Why? <laughs> we came here for freedom of speech." <laughs> well, I don't know. They got some bug in their ass at the moment about me and my language. Oh, they do. Apparently. Have you got a foul mouth? I am a, I am a little bit cussy as a, as a man. Um, I'm, I swear far too much. I, I, I think it's quite a British thing, though. I think British people swear a lot. Yes, uh, and we use it as a term of... Uh, we use swearing as a kind of way of being affectionate with each other. Right, but I'm an American now, so I can't do it anymore. Are you an American citizen now? I am. Ah, oh, well, then you've got to stop. But I only learned very recently, about three or four years ago, consider, uh, considering I've been here many years, from my mother-in-law that I cannot say... The word that we cannot say. Don't even think it. Well, because she said to me something like, what's this person like? And I said, well, they're very nice, but you couldn't say 
that, that word, word in front yeah, of me. yeah. She said, went, oh, and I went, oh my God, you all, I can't say that word in front of you. And right, yeah. You but you know what word you can say is Fanny. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Fanny's absolutely fine, right? Fanny. Fanny is fine. Now, the thing is, Fanny in Britain is no. like, oh, oh, oh no. <laughs> you mustn't say Fanny. Well, you can say Fanny as long as it's someone's name, but when you start saying what it is, you get a frosty reception. reception. <laughs> Why is the big old I'll tell you later. Anyway, that that's uh, so it's you know you can say Fanny. Do you did you ever see that? that you could say I was talking to my touch my, my leg again. Touch Sorry. my leg. Ah, oh, there you go. <laughs> now pull my hair a little bit. No. <laughs> I was talking to my hairdresser, who is, uh, well, a hairdresser, a while ago, after I had this conversation with my mother-in-law about the conversation, and he's Scottish. Right. And I was saying, and he was saying, yeah, no, it's crazy, and in, in Scotland particularly, it's a term of infection. It actually infection. is a term of infection, And yes. you would say, I love you, you... Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you say it here, they call the police. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You know, different strokes for different folk. It's all I right. I know, it's all, all right. Yeah, it's fine. <laughs> Love all the people. No, but what I was telling... Oh, sh like, shall I... No, tell me, tell me. In the commercial break... Was it a commercial break? Sure. <laughs> no, it was. It was, it was, it was. He said, how are you enjoying being in America? And I was about to... I was telling you this story about my little girl in the back of the car the other day who was singing along to a Disney song. For, am I allowed to say Disney? Yes, you can say Disney. <laughs> Although it is a cuss word in certain parts of America. Um, are they going to bleep it out? No, no, they won't. Uh, anyway, and she was singing along to this uh, the theme tune from Sophia the Princess or something. Where right. she, and the, and it, I can't sing, but the words were something like, I'm, I can be anyone and I can do anything and I can see anyone and I can be anything. And I was thinking, God, isn't that interesting? If you were a child in England singing that song, you'd, you'd sort of be shot. People yeah, yeah, we would go. <laughs> oh, be anything, we'll see about that, yeah. You'd, I'll, people I'll, would be disgusted. Yeah. People would vomit into their yeah. <laughs> It's. I always thought if Billy Joel had been Scottish, right, yeah. he would have sang, bottle of red, bottle of white, you think you're great, but you're bollocks. <laughs> Does it hurt? Oh. That's been bleak. Yes, I mean, well, they know it's, you know, it's something that rhymes with white. <laughs> right. So that's it. We're, we're out of time. We're done. Oh, good. What do you mean, oh, good? I don't mean that. Oh. 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 Oh.